What's up, guys? Okay, I hope you can see me. Okay, I hope everyone's well. Thanks for joining me. Um, just, you might be able to see that, actually. I'm just setting up some fence here. I thought I'd take you along for the ride. I've just done a little bit, and stuff's going well. I mean, yes, if you watched the video yesterday, I was taking down a fence so I could put a fence back up. This is the fence that's going up. So I'm a man of my word, okay? For all the people that said I wasn't. No one said that, but still. Um, yeah, I'll show you the process here. And yeah, it's, it feels good actually to be able to show you like what I actually do. Uh, yeah, I just need to park there and then I'll take you guys with me. Take you for a ride. All right, don't mind me. I'm just carrying you out here. Okay. Just gonna leave the camera there. Look at that. Yeah, you can see me. Okay. Right, I've got some posts uh, here. Let's just grab like five. Let's show you. These are posts, um, just step in posts. This here is the wire. Uh, well, there's a join there, see, but, um, so this carries electric current, so usually, thankfully, this isn't on, otherwise I would be getting, uh, getting excited right now, um, so yeah, and then obviously these are plastic posts, so they don't carry the current into the ground, because otherwise you'd lose it, if it was a metal post, or even wooden, wooden, wood conducts quite well, if it's wet, but plastic, obviously, is the best, uh, it's a good insulator and yeah they're really good they'll last ages if you if you take care of them these are really old actually um yeah so i'm literally just going to walk up here i'll show you it's a little bit windy but if i face that way you'll hear me better but we'll see so yeah as you can see uh march the 27th it is a wednesday wednesday march 27th and you were loving it. It's a bit chilly, actually. Got a few layers on, but I was actually just walking back to this so I can step it out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I've been doing. So we'll just go with that. So I literally just stepped this in with my foot. It's got a spike on the end. I'll stick that wire in. And I don't know. If, I don't know the height exactly because. We'll see. One, two, three, four. Oh, that one's lit. <laughs> that one's got no spike. So forget that one. Clearly a bit too much use. Yeah, to be honest, this might be too high, guys. Fuck. I've done this whole thing. It's just because there's going to be cow uh, little baby calves as well. And because I've only got one thing in the hip, maybe I'll do two, but they're only that tall. They're just going to walk straight underneath it. Ah, fuck, do you know what? Fuck it. Who cares? Nine, ten. Oh, I don't know why I keep throwing that on the ground. Don't need to. Step that in. Yeah, who cares? Because the calves are two, three, four, five, six. Ten, literally where you are. Look at that. You're in the way a bit, actually. Bang that baby in, and we'll move on. Oh, I might as well just point you this way, and then I'm going to come back over here. Look, let's. You can see the post there, guys. You see that how that clips in. So leave, leave you there. What was I saying? Yeah, the calves are, they're gonna go through, but who cares? Because they're so, they're so small, they're not gonna make a mess. They're not really gonna eat any grass um, because they're drinking milk. Um, like, yeah, like it's not a problem really. So stop worrying about it. Right, I'm gonna carry some posts. This is good viewing, isn't it? You can't even see me. Look at that. 
Right, one, two, three, four. Oh shit, I've dropped it. I was showing off, thinking I could carry carry all the posts. I'm lucky I've got big hands actually, I can carry it a lot of time, makes it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, I think it's easiest actually if you just put them under your arm. 10, another post. It's not an exact science, um, doesn't need to be. It's just like, look, I'm just trying to hold this thing up, obviously. I've lost count, eight, nine, ten, maybe. Who knows? Um, yeah, the posts, like, they act as a little bit of a visual barrier themselves. Uh, like, the cows will see them and kind of get interested in them. Or stay away from them, maybe, especially if they know they're going to get an electric shock. I would, too. But, yeah, that's what we're needed for. That's why they don't need to be strong as well, guys. Nine, ten. Oh, who knows? I'm getting... I'm guessing it's hard to talk and count. Because an electric fence is a psychological barrier, not a physical barrier. They get shocked, you know, once or twice and not even, maybe not at all if they've learned from the others. And three, four, five. And then they never, they, they respect the fence because they know it's going to hurt if they go, they go near it. It's not, you know, it's so flimsy it's just a one bit of plastic and metal wire with these silly little plastic posts you know a cow if she wanted to and sometimes they do would just absolutely run that over if they wanted eight nine ten they just go straight through and they do you know if there's if and when there's a problem or i don't know they get spooked or they want to go go to a bull or I don't know if they want to go have sex you know you've got to do what you got to do kind of fires you up I guess um, 10 roughly so yeah like it won't stop them but it's a psych psychological thing because if they get an electric shock they're not going to want to get that again uh, so they stay away that's fine right I'm quite a long way away. Hope you can see me. Um, I'll, I'll finish this off and then come back. I've got a little bank here, guys. So the, like the wire is literally on the ground because the because the ground's come up in the bank. So I think I'm just going to have to put a few more in and just follow the, the the contour, if you will, of the land. Fuck! I've missed putting like putting posts in. I know it's a weird hobby to have, but like last year I was doing it and then in the winter we've kind of just had a break, um, did some other stuff. We keep keep the cows indoors. Um, got some sheep out here, but you know, I was taking a break. Um, wasn't I wasn't doing this, the fencing and stuff. And yes, I haven't done it in a while, but it just brings me great pleasure. It's the little things in life. But, you know, like I keep saying, this is, well, I don't keep saying, I haven't really explained my situation, but this is a transition year, really, for us, uh, for me. This is a new, it's a new concept. Um, and, yeah, it's exciting, you know. It's a new business, you know, it's a new business, it's a new startup, essentially, for me. But, yeah, we, we are loving it. So over here, obviously you can't see because you're like 19 miles away, but it's actually touching the wooden post, so I've got to bring that out so it doesn't go down. I've got the worst post in the world there. Let's swap that over. Sorry for the delay, guys. I've got a weak, flimsy pole. Um, bring that out. Put it on an angle, maybe. Yeah. Oh, oh yes, we're cooking on gas. In a minute, I'll bring you down here, guys, and show you the little bit of fencing I've done here. I'm quite proud of actually. Made a fucking really, made a really good job of it. Um. So yeah, why not? You know, I'll show you that, guys. Sure enough, someone will someone will tell me I've done it wrong, but I'm a beginner here. I'm learning as I go. 
so that's fine. That's the only problem with this, like it's long walks back. Obviously, pe some people do this, sorry about the wind. Some people do this with a quad bike or, you know, an ATV, all-terrain vehicle. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, you can just ride that and keep putting posts in, putting wire up. But, you know, I've got to do the leg work, which I don't mind at all. You know, I use the truck like that just to carry everything around. I used to do it by hand out here last year. I didn't have a truck. Uh, so I was like a madman just carrying posts and wire and stuff. But it's good, you know, we can't just automate everything, can we? We've got to stay active. Cool. This is a weird thing trying to get you back in the truck. All right. Well, I'll just drive down the bottom. It's a bit of a longer video, this, just because I'm actually doing shit in real time and not just talking about it, but that's actually what I enjoy doing. So I hope you guys get a bit of value from it, learn some things or see something you've never seen before. And yeah, that's my aim. That really inspires me actually. As much as I like it, I like what I do. I like, um, I think to disseminate that knowledge, spread it far and wide is part of the purpose for me. That brings me, brings me great joy. Right, let's jump out. <laughs> That's a quick jump. Yeah. Need a break from that drive. That was a bit too long. Uh, yeah. Sorry, it's like fucking... It's like getting a dead body out. Okay. I'll just keep, keep you... Look. Right. How are we going to film this? So here, guys, I'll show you I've done a little bit of fencing just from where the energy, the energizer is, the power. Look at this tree, by the way. Got these little blossoms coming out, that's nice. And it, back to what I was saying, the energy's coming from here, the, the electric uh, current, and I just needed a little section on this post and rail fence just to get it to that long stretch that I've just done. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. Let's start from the very start. I'll film it. This is where the this is where it comes from. That's, I don't know why I test with my hand. I'll be that's stupid. But anyway, it's not on. I've just hooked it on there. That's a lazy thing, but I've just hooked it there. Uh, that's on the post there. This is a. Don't look at this. Not look at this. Looking pretty good. Okay. Um, tied that back to the post. That's hiding. This is barbed wire. That's spiky. Horrible. This is high tensile. It's smooth, but obviously we're going to have electric on it, so it's going to hurt. Got a nice knot there that ties it off to the post. I've had a hell of a knot tying day today, today, guys. I've done like four, but fuck it, I'm proud. I'm proud of my knots, as as you should be. <laughs> as I was saying that, I was just looking at a knot that's not very pretty, but it's not too bad. I'll show you. That's like a joiner knot. I had to strain it up and join it. That is messy, but does the job. This is where it joins onto my plastic line. You can see, I just did. So that's cool. Uh, let's take that off a second, just show you what's going on. I mean, guys, come on. Look at these. That's unreal. That's, you know, that hypes me up. This is an insulator, so the electric is coming along here. This is plastic, it does, so it doesn't go through there, so it stops. This is not live. Reason being, it comes back and it touches this wooden post, so I'd lose all my electric down the post into the ground if that was a straight you know, line. So you put that in the middle, it stops it going. And look at this, guys, come on. Another nice knot there in the corner up here, guys. I mean, that one I'm just proud of, actually. You know, it could be better, but, you know, I've only learned this kind of stuff quite recently, and I'm... I'm pleased to put it to good use and actually make it make it work. So I hook that on. This is all live. Look, so it goes up my up my line, and yeah. If I take you over here, I'll show you where the 
electricity comes from. Ignore the mud here. It's going to get sorted, hopefully. This is on right now, actually, so I've got to be careful. I can't keep showing you by touching, as I did. This box here, if I put my microphone close, you'll be able to hear that. That's ticking. That's sending an electric shock down the line, you know, every second or so. And it's connected to the ground here. This is a rod that I drove down with a hammer very deep into the ground. I should have filmed that actually, but didn't get a chance. So when you're in the field and you touch the fence, the current goes through you, through your feet into the ground, and it comes back to this rod here, back up into the energizer, and it completes that loop, right? Because energy, electricity flows in a circuit. That's like GCSE uh, physics, is it physics? Yeah. Um, so, now here guys, the fence I just showed you a second ago comes comes through this pipe, <laughs> this little wire. It's a bit of a dodgy way of doing it, but it's fine. It's actually fine. So I need to actually connect this to the live wire um, so, it, so it turns on that whole thing I just did. So, what I'm going to do is just be cave, safe, sorry. I've had some shocks from this before and it just it just makes you rethink life at that point you almost see I think I saw the birth of Christ once it was quite it was it was enlightening uh, yes I've turned it off guys switch there we've got some cows back here by the way they're in this big outside pen just for a minute until we can because um, they'll actually go outside from here uh, so that's nice sort of acclimatizes them to being outdoors and they're eating grass. They're eating like preserved grass, their silage or hay. And yeah, I'll explain that more maybe in a future video. So how do I do this? If I put you down, not like a dog, like uh, just there, and I'll show you. Um, how do I do this? So I've got this cable, guys, like I said. It's coming from the new bit of fence. And this, let's just check it's off. I don't, again, I'm checking with my hand. That's my stupid thing to do. You're just gonna get, like, you're gonna find out, aren't you? I guess, that's fine. This is a water pipe, ignore that. Um, it's like a bit of a mess. I should tidy this up, but who cares? This is a bit in the way. How am I gonna? Oh, that's come out. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. If I bend, oh, I'll just bend it. I'm forgetting, it's not a water pipe, it doesn't matter. You know, you can just bend it because I've just got the electric going down the middle of it. You know, so it doesn't matter. I'll just hook this in here. I mean, if you're doing this at home, do it better, I guess, but I am doing it at home and it's fine. This is fucking crazy. Right, for the sake of this video, that's that's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna, I will actually tidy this up maybe one day. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's just fucking loop that in. That's fine, this is actually the ground wire bit surprised just to see just then that it's come out but it's meant to be in there um, I'll leave it there I'm gonna need a spanner or something to fix that but guys that should be on right now well it's not but this is the moment of truth okay I just switched back on Right, fingers crossed. That should be fine. Nice view out here, guys. Look at that. It's, it's very, you know, very dramatic with the clouds. Sorry, this isn't, this isn't the Bob Ross video. Right. I feel like a bit un, un, 
unnerved. I don't know what's going to happen, but it should be fine. Oh, haven't I got a... No. Right, little... Little test. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, that'll do. Little test. The grass has, like, has moisture in it, so it's going to... It's going to conduct electricity just a little bit into my fingers and then I'm going to conduct it myself. If I put the grass on, yeah, I can feel that ticking through my, through my thumb. So that fence is on. I'll check my line. My line should be good now. It's very exciting for, for me, you know, not for most people. But, but if I put that on there, just for an experiment, guys, so that's ticking. I can feel that in my hand. If I was to touch the, the ground with my other hand, I then feel it through both hands. In fact, the ground one's stronger. And that's because I'm wearing rubber boots, so, so the conductivity isn't that good of me until I put my bare hand onto the ground and then the electricity passes right through my body, just a tiny bit, and goes back to the energizer, like I told you. So that's on. That's very strong as well, which is good. It's fine. Let's just test my line just for a good measure. You can see my line here. Sorry, you're on an angle. Oh, shit. And bingo. That is on. On and strong. Which makes me a happy guy because it's a plan coming together. And we love it when a plan comes together. So yeah, one nice view over there. Look at that lovely fence I've made going up there. And a beautiful sunset, as always. So I better call it there. Um, very happy with that, actually. It's gone really well. I mean, that's easy to say before we put cows in here and they actually test the fence, I guess. But maybe that's the trick. Just do stuff and then never actually keep any livestock. You might be a much more... <laughs> stress-free life but I don't care I like cows so we're gonna have to make it work somehow and yeah thanks for joining me 